Hey guys, want to root your Samsung phone, install TWRP and unlock the bootloader all without using a computer? You're in the right place. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to do it, step by step. It's easy, safe and perfect even if you're doing it for the first time. Just grab your phone, follow along and make sure you don't skip anything because one missed step could cause problems or even brick your device. But first, a quick disclaimer. Rooting your phone may void your warranty and there's always a small risk if the steps aren't followed properly. So make sure to back up all your data and proceed at your own risk. Alright, before we jump into routing, let me quickly show you the device I'm using. So this is the Samsung Galaxy A52s running on Android 14 and One UI 6. But don't worry, the steps in this video also work if you're on Android 13, Android 15 or using any other Samsung device. So the first step in routing or installing TWRP recovery is unlocking the bootloader. To do this, tap on build number 7 times under software information until you see the message developer mode has been enabled. Once developer option is enabled, go back to your main settings and you'll now see developer options at the bottom. Now here's the most important setting OEM unlocking, make sure to turn it on. Once OEM is enabled, just below that, also enable USB debugging. This allows our Samsung device to communicate with a, another device. Once both the options are enabled, it's time to connect our Samsung device to another device. Alright, I just connected my Samsung S23 using a Type-C to Type-C cable. But you can use any Android phone that supports USB OTG. It doesn't have to be a Samsung. Just make sure your main Samsung device shows the charging icon when connected. That means the connection is working. Now restart your Samsung device and wait for the Samsung logo to disappear. As soon as it disappears, quickly press and hold the volume up and volume down buttons at the same time. Keep holding them until you see a blue screen with a warning message. Now on the blue screen, press and hold the volume up button to continue. Next, you'll see a message asking if you want to unlock the bootloader. Simply press the volume up button again to confirm. Once you confirm, your device will automatically wipe all data and the bootloader will be unlocked. You'll see a warning that the bootloader is unlocked. Don't worry, that's normal. Your phone will boot up fine, so just wait for the setup screen. So the device has now booted up. Let me open the settings and quickly re-enable developer options. And yes, as you can see, it says bootloader already unlocked. That means we have successfully unlocked the bootloader. Next, also enable USB debugging again so we can move on to the next step. Install TWRP on Samsung without PC. So, on your another Android phone, download the TWRP file for your Samsung device. In browser, search for TWRP along with your device name. Let me search for my A52S. Open the first link, which should be tarp.me. Scroll down the page and choose your region to download the correct TWRP file for your device. Just make sure to download the .tar file, not the .img file, since Samsung Flashing Tools only supports .tar files. Once TWRP is downloaded, we also need to download VB Meta file. You can either extract it from your firmware and then patch it using this command, but that's need PC. You can also find it in the XDA post related to your device. So here's the XDA post for the A52s. Scroll down and look for the VB meta image, then download the one that matches your device. We'll need this file to complete the process. Now that both files are downloaded, go ahead and install the Eros Flash Tool app on any Android phone. The download link is available in the description below. Just tap it and install the app. Once installed, open the Eros app, tap on the AP button and select the TWRP file you downloaded. Then tap on the user data button and select the VB meta file. Now it's time to put your Samsung device into download mode again. Just like before, connect your phone to another Android device and restart it. As soon as the screen turns black, press and hold 
volume up and volume down together. This time when the warning screen appears, just press volume up once and you'll enter download mode. As soon as your device boots into download mode, Eros Flash tool will detect it and ask to connect. And yes, our device is now connected to Eros. Next, tap the settings icon in the Eros app and make sure to disable auto reboot. Then click on the start button to flash TWRP on your Samsung device. It'll take just a few seconds, so wait patiently. Once it says OK 100% flashing is done. Now you can disconnect your device and let's boot into TWRP recovery. To do that, press and hold volume up plus power for about 10 seconds until you see the Samsung logo. If that doesn't work, don't worry. Here's another way. Press and hold volume down plus power for around 7 seconds. As soon as the screen goes black, quickly switch to volume up plus power and keep holding. Once you see the Samsung logo, just wait. It should now boot into TWRP recovery. And yes, the device is now booted into TWRP recovery, as you can see right here. Now, there's a high chance your device is encrypted, which means TWRP won't be able to access your internal storage just yet. That's why I've placed the Magisk zip file on my SD card, but you can also use a USB pen drive with an OTG adapter if needed. So now I'll go ahead and select the Magisk zip file and swipe to install. It'll take just a few seconds to flash Magisk on our Samsung device, so be patient and wait for it to finish. Alright, Magisk has been successfully installed. Now go back and click on wipe and then format data. Just type yes and hit enter. It will format all the data on the device. Once done, just tap on the reboot system button. Your phone will now boot back into the Android system. This might take a few minutes and may ask you to go through the setup process again. So I'll quickly fast forward the video to save you some time. Alright, the device has now booted up and the Magisk app is already pre-installed. It's now asking to update the app, so let me quickly connect to the internet and update Magisk to the latest version. Magisk app is now updated, let me open it. Now it's saying additional setup required and the device needs to reboot to complete it. Simply tap OK and phone will reboot automatically. Let me quickly do that. And yes, as you can see, Magisk is fully installed and running. The version is 29 and our Samsung device is now rooted. And the best part, we did it all without using a PC. Let's also confirm it using the Root Checker app. I'll open it up and tap Verify Root. And there you go, root access is successfully verified. That means everything worked perfectly and your Samsung device is now fully rooted without a computer. And that's it, you've successfully unlocked the bootloader, installed TWRP and rooted your Samsung device, all without using a PC. If this video helped you, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share it with someone who needs it. Got any questions or stuck somewhere? Drop a comment below, I'm here to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.